the way I dress and the way I generally present myself makes people always question where I'm from. I would say that my sense of style, it has a lot to do with not wanting to conform to looking a certain way. I was born and raised in Nepal and I lived there all my life. I started living in New York since 2012. I feel like my identity is really a merger of being in New York and my own history so that I can draw inspiration from everywhere. Jewelry happened while I was in school. I needed to also do something that was fun, that would remind me of why I do what I do. And so jewelry became that for me. I always think about originality as something that drives my work because I don't think it's impossible to create something that still looks very, very unique and stands out. My hope is that when people wear my jewelry that they are interested in the idea of jewelry and not just putting something on because it completes a look. It's a bit more anthropological than just fashion. It's very telling of human history. It's very telling of migration. It's very telling of where we are now. Every piece I make is handmade and it's made by me in my studio. I use materials that are completely unjewelry like uh, I use synthetic hairs, I use erasers, I use everything that I can find. I do have lots of secret passions and hobbies. I just love Wing Chun and I love Bing Pong. That's making me sound very Asian right now. <laughs> but yeah.